Hello and welcome to the Kane and Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. And joining me right here today is Jasper Cole. Jasper, how are you? Hey, buddy. Good morning Hi, or good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. It's morning there, but it's actually afternoon here. Remind me, yeah, because you're in uh, California, so. Where are you? I actually am in Massachusetts, the whole other side. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, yes, yes. On the East Coast. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. You're on Beautiful. the West Coast and I'm on the East Coast. Yeah, three, uh, three. Uh, well, are you having the big heat wave also? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy all over, right? It is, it is for sure. So why don't you start by telling everyone a little bit about you and how you got started in acting? Oh, sure. Well, let's see. I'm I'm in my <laughs> I'm in my 35th year of living in L.A. Before that, I was born and raised in Georgia, um, Athens, Georgia which is a college town. And I spent two years in Atlanta before I moved here. Um, I came here with a play that I co-wrote and co-starred in and we brought it out and we got it produced. And that sort of was my introduction to LA. And I sort of just hit the ground running and it's been a, it's been a marathon, not a sprint. That's for sure. Because I'm sort of a, you know, I'm that journeyman actor, character mm -hmm. actor that has kind of been in it for the long haul. Of course, you don't know it at the time that, mm -hmm. you, that you're in it for the long haul. You wake up one day and you realize, oh, I've been doing this a long time. So, um, but yeah, about 20 years ago, I started really getting character parts and playing the, quote, bad guy roles. And um, it's been a great, a great uh, path so far. For sure, for sure. Now, um, I know you've got a couple projects that you w we would like to talk to you about today. You play Corey Black in the hit bet series, The Family Business, opposite um, Ernie Hudson and all that fun stuff. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, The Family Business, uh, the fourth season just dropped last week. Uh, I started on the third season. Mm -hmm. I rarely... <laughs> I rarely survive anything. I, I'm usually killed. So the running joke was, I couldn't believe I I made it to season four. But yeah, Corey Black is a, he's head of a Pittsburgh biker gang. Um, for the fans, the, the people who don't know the show, Ernie Hudson plays the owner of an upscale exotic uh, car dealership by day. By night, he's running a drug cartel. And um, he has a group of uh, a men that work with him and I happen to be one of the ones that run uh, my own drug division and I introduced a new drug last season into the mix and it's not gone that well and it's caused a lot of upheaval so Corey's back doing his usual havoc um, I, I, I don't know if I don't know if it's turned out well for Corey you'll just have to st stay tuned and find out Fantastic, fantastic. Now, Jasper, what else have you been in besides uh, this wonderful show that we're all hearing about? Um, what what else in my career or what do I have coming up? What do you have coming up? Yeah, so this weekend, I think on the 12th, there's a new film called Fall that's uh, dropping, no pun intended, um, in the <laughs> theaters. And it's uh, we shot this. It's, it was my first job during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. back in August of 2020 and then we reshot more in 21 but it's it's really quite thrilling it's about these two young uh ladies that are trapped in a certain up in on a on a platform and we shot the whole thing in the high desert literally there's only six actors in the whole movie it was a perfect pandemic movie cuz they were you know outside we didn't have vaccines or anything at the time, so it's really kind of precarious. But I can't say enough about these two young actresses, Grace and Virginia. They really do carry the whole movie. Um, I'd say 90% of the movie is their stunts and their acting. And luckily, my stuff was all on the ground because I'm not mm -hmm. a good heights person. But um, just to work with the director, Scott Mann, one of his films, Heist, is one of my favorite films. So... I was thrilled to get to work with him and I play a character. I can't get, it's the kind of role. If I talk about it, it gives it away, but let's just say I show up at a time when I think the girls are hoping I'm going to help them. And I am not sure that happens, but you know, based on the characters I play, 
um, it probably didn't look good for them. <laughs> now, if you have any advice to those who might want to start acting but doesn't really know how to get their foot in the door, what advice would you give them, Jasper? I always tell actors, especially today, just start acting wherever you are. You don't have to be in L.A., New York, you know, wh whatever town you're in. Just do as much work as you can. The beauty today is you can shoot your own material. Mm -hmm. You can do your own films. Um, and you, you're not at the mercy of having to let people, quote, let you act. And so I say just take advantage of all the opportunities that are in the community you're in. And don't, you know, don't make that big leap out to the big markets until you're ready. That is so true because you don't want to, you know, push it too far to the point where you're, you know, overwhelmed. Because this is, is from talking to all different types of people, you know, very hard industry, whether it be, you know, music or acting or anything in the entertainment business. It's really tricky. Yeah. And the beauty, like I said, today, because of like most of our auditions are self tapes mm -hmm. now. You can pretty much be anywhere as long as you can get yourself to the job if you get it. So it's increased a lot of more competition for all of us. Right. But then we have so much more opportunity with the streamers. I mean, there's so many shows I can't even, there's no way I can keep up with them watching them, but it's great because we have more opportunities. So yeah, just tell all the, I tell all young actors, just keep doing don't no job is too small do everything you can get as much experience as you can theater would be great but um do as much on camera stuff as possible now do you have a favorite uh movie or tv show that you have or haven't been in jasper um oh gosh i it's it's funny i <laughs> ray donovan was one of my favorite series on showtime that I um, had auditioned for quite a bit and didn't get. Sons of Anarchy was another series. I must have auditioned for that, I don't know, 25, 30 times um, and, and didn't uh, make it onto it. One of the shows I did that was one of my favorites is Everybody Hates Chris, um, which where I played uh, the, the local drug addict. That was just an amazing experience. I started my career thinking I was gonna be a stand-up comedian a sitcom star so comedy's always been my thing and then tell god your plans and you end up playing mm -hmm. you know creepy bad guys um doing the movie mcgruber was a big break for me and i got to work with all the snl people so i yeah i i've been just incredibly blessed and grateful um these past 35 years now jasper if someone was to write a uh, movie or tv show about something about you or something that's happened in your life what do you think that they would write about well, i think well a lot of people don't know that um when i was 13 and my brother was 16 we were on a family vacation and we were both struck by lightning and my brother was killed instantly i survived and it sort of was a real big turning point in my life and sort of even at a young age of 13 it kind of gave me this this drive to like do anything, do everything I want to do because you, you, we're not promised tomorrow. Um, I actually wrote a play version of that whole event and I would love to have someone collaborate with me on the, uh, the film version because it's a lot about growing up in the South and tragedy. And although recently there just seems like there's been all these lightning strikes. Um, you saw there's three people killed at the White House. Mm -hmm the other day so I, I guess with climate change who knows it's just it's I used to think it was rare but it's a little more uh common than I thought definitely you know you, you don't see it until you see it on the news and you're like oh my god it's more common than you think it is yeah I don't you guys have the thunderstorms back east right we do we do yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, tornadoes and all that. I always say I'll I'll hand I'll take an earthquake <laughs> every twenty years, um, than a tornado or a thunderstorm. But you know, Mother Nature can be quite wicked at times. Especially with me being like in the New England area, you never know. One day it could be super hot out. The next day it could be like mild, and the next day it could be pouring down raining. That is a beautiful part of the country you're in, though. It is. I'm not going to lie. It is. So, I mean, you're close to a lot. You're close to, New York, you know, you're accessible to New York, Boston. Yep. 
mm -hmm. Pittsburgh. You know, you've got all the major cities right there, which is nice. Which is awesome. Yes. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Now, um, if you were to give a message to anyone that might be watching, listening, or any of your fans, Jasper, what would you like to tell them? I would just say, especially in these crazy times right now, just know that there's a lot of great stuff happening. I know the news only highlights all the negativity and the, the you know, the division and politics and mm -hmm. all that. But um, I'm I'm 58. I've lived through a lot of stuff. I I think there there have been times in my life where this was supposedly quote the worst time and mm -hmm. we survived and I, you know i just want people to remain positive Re, you know remain involved be a not be aware of what's happening but don't let it just completely consume uh your life where can people find you on social media if they want to keep up with what you're doing um, Twitter and Instagram is at Jasper Cole says S A Y S. And then I have a Facebook page and you can go to Jasper Cole.com. My website is pretty up to date always. And my podcast one-on-one -on -one with Jasper Cole is there. So you can stalk me on any of the, I like a good stalker. So you can stalk me on any, any of those pages. <laughs> I guess we might have some people stalking at you soon, Jasper. They're here and they're like, <laughs> Well, I guess we're going to go stalk Jasper now. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, you know, it can't hurt, right? It can't. Everything no, hurt. not at all. Not at all. At least it gives you the publicity. <laughs> no such thing as bad PR. That's right. Yep, that's true. That's really, really true. Now, Jasper, is there anything that I forgot to mention that you would like to mention before we go? No, that's it. I mean, just check out uh, season four of uh, Family Business fall is this weekend oh coming up in september i'm in a new series called kombucha cure um that's going to be on amazon prime that i also produce but that's that'll be later at the end of september so but again it's all going to be on my website people can follow me there awesome jasper cole thank you so much for taking the time to come on the kate and gordon show today's best country mix we really appreciate your time my friend great to meet you thank you so much everyone be safe